need you to just go in the bedroom. No, I'm not. I'm yeah, not doing that. I'm not being. I'm not being. Let's go in the kitchen. Am I ambushed? No, no, no. I'm ambushed. I'm not doing this. I'm not. I can't even believe you did this. They were best buddies for a while, and they need to just come to terms with it. I, I, no, I just want to talk to you. You look great. You look beautiful. Thank you. I'm not. I'm mm -hmm. nothing negative. I just wanted to say a few words. You don't have to be my friend. But you, I just want to say a few words. I didn't want her to walk out because it took me everything to get me there. So I was ready to just really hash it out now, and I didn't want to have to let this be prolonged by her just walking out. I'm not attacking you. I don't want to argue. Bethany, just... this is so conjured up. Are you kidding me? I felt that this was two against one in a way. Ramona was the fuel to the fire. She threw like a lighter fluid on a fight, and Bethany lit the match, you know, and showed up. I'm here to talk to you. Really, just, I'm not ready for, I, I'm not. You won't talk to me. I don't really know what's going on with your life. Five minutes, I'm not attacking you. I'm not attacking you. I just have a couple of things to say, and then you don't have to be my friend. Okay. I just want to sit down and talk to you. There's no reason that Jill would not be able to sit down and have a face-to-face -face conversation with me. Otherwise, there's something she's afraid of. I don't want to. I don't want to be right. I don't want you to be wrong. Because if you're wrong and I'm right, then no one wins. I'm not here for you to be right, wrong. Okay. I just want to talk to you alone for five minutes. This is like so unbelievable. I mean, I just, I, you know what, Bethany? I, I, I really wish you the best. I do. I wish you the best. I do. I always have, and I want you to. Do whatever you Jill, want in your I life and to be know. happy. Are you kidding me? You sent me flowers. You knew he was sick. He you had cancer. Slit his throat open. You said he had a procedure and I sent a you flowers and then you wouldn't respond to me. I said, how's Bobby? You didn't respond to me. You, didn't respond you know what? Do you want me to really go backwards with time and place, which is what you've done to me, our whole friendship of things that you've done to me? that I just let pass and just let pass because I loved you. We've both done a lot of things for each other and we've both done a lot of things not for each other, including you. And I'm not here to, I'm not here to talk about that because overall we were really great friends. There were a lot of things that you did that were negative towards me, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not here. I'm not, I don't hold that against you because I don't pick every single thing that you do. You want me to go back? All right, let's sit down. You want me to go back? I'm going to go back. You're going to make me go back. I'm going to go back. I actually, because I have the worst memory, I actually wrote it down. But now I, I don't have it. I definitely felt frustrated, and I felt that this is way worse than I even imagined, which is pretty bad. I have to evaluate who's in my life all the time like you do. I only have so much room, okay? And I gave you a ton of it. You know, you were like my living room. We used to speak four times a day. I know, but that's our, both of our responsibilities. I don't know why you're putting it all on me. I'm not putting it all on you. I'm saying is that I, I can't be friends with you anymore because there's no friendship. I mean, a friendship is a mutual give and take. How do you not even say yes what? I got it. Tea? You want some tea? Yeah. All right. Right now, I got to focus on getting Allison into college, helping my friend Luann, who really needs me right now. I and do I, need you. You don't need me as a friend. You're, you're full, and that's okay. I'm not full. I've been with Jason the entire summer and doing the book tour and trying to hold it all together and not screw up the relationship. And there's another big thing going on with me that we'll talk about it another time if we ever speak again. But. You're making, you, you like to build keys and you count every single thing. I was thinking when I sent flowers, like she's going to talk about the fact that they're not big enough or nice enough or the card wasn't right enough or, you can, it's hard to win with you. That's why I'm saying with a hobby, you pick with everybody, whoever it is, you always, it's impossible to be a, a good friend to you because you're always going to fail. And the thing is, I was a very good friend to you and every single business thing you had, I talked to you through and you it's did a true. lot of things that I it's did. It's not true, Bethany. It is true. This is so upsetting. My stomach is like... Last year, it was there was always something. There was something with Alex. There was something with Simon. There was something with everyone. You've always had something with someone at the time. We had bigger friendships, so this something is much bigger with me. But you have to accept some responsibility. That I'm not not accepting know. it, and I'm and I and I'm not. I just you know I don't know where to go from here. And you always think the worst. You always go to the place where someone's doing something against you, and I'm not. I was seeing blood. I was pissed. And when Bethany started to unravel and dump on me, all her resentments, I'm like, then why did you come here? If you hate me so much and you have all this anger at me, why am I here? Well, I just don't want it to be that we're complete enemies because I love you and I care about you and I would never do anything to hurt you or your family. And I don't even know why you would think that I would do that. I would never do anything to hurt you. I don't even understand it. Like, I would never. I mean, am I like an evil monster? And you could have just called me and said, Bethany, I need you. Bobby's like, you could call me. You don't always have to wait for the person to fail. I'm not perfect. I mean, it might fail, but you could call. I would have called you and because been like, Because you God. scare me. Because you scare me. You scream at me. You yell. You don't need. It was you like, said we're done. Those are big words. Are I would never say that to you. I can't. I can't have the toxicity in my life anymore. I just can't. Well, you don't have to be my All friend. All right, Jill. Come on, let's go. We have a car waiting downstairs.
Let's go. Honey, this Ready? Is this is a card for Bobby. I am sorry that I didn't call him because I would not go above your head if you said we're done and call your mother and your husband. It's just not even respectful. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. I just thought it carried on a lot too long. It's just too painful. Thanks, Countess, for the diversions. First was a tea party, then was the car diversion, next was going to be a puppet show. I get it. You want your best friend, take her back. Bye, thank you. All right. All right. Bye, Lauren. Bye, Bethany. Ready? What's this? And am I called bitch? I can cry. No, because you 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 know what you want. You're very you you you. I'm you a cold bitch. I'm, no, I can't no, because no, you know what? I'm no, not but, going there. I can't cry. No, no, no. I can't. You don't need to cry. Wrong. You've cried already. I've cried already. You've I'm, cried already. I mean, you know. Okay. I didn't tell you. Her here, Ramona. You, no, 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 no. Well, no. Ramona.